Okay, hello everyone and welcome to um, Saber's Hour, I guess. So this is our kitty, Saber, the main coon, of course. Um, and so today I thought we would talk about a little bit, oh, come here so I can get you up on your food there, a little bit about what the difference is between Saber here, who is supposed to be a European main coon, and an American main coon. So Saber is supposed to be a European Maine Coon. Supposedly the breeder got her cats from Russia, I think she said. Um, so I just thought I'd talk a little bit differently about, and since um, uh, Saber is getting a little bit older and starting to show more of her features, um, as you can see when she looks at the camera, she has a little bit more of a wild look than like a regular domesticated cat or than our other cat, Tack. Um, so the difference, main differences between an American and a European one is all like basically superficial. There's nothing with to do with um, physical things or really anything like that. Um, they don't really live much longer than the other one or anything of that consequence. Um, so it's just mainly their looks. So in Europe, they're bred to be a little bit more wild looking like she is here. So if you can see her chin, she has a little bit more of a prominent chin, almost like a lion's chin. If you look at her. Also the European Maine Coons have um, a little bit taller ears and these little tufts at the end. Oh I'm so sorry I disrupted you. These little tufts at the end are usually longer on a European one whereas on an American one the ears are a little bit shorter and the tufts aren't as prominent at the end. Also European Maine Coons are known for the big bushy tail. Now hers isn't so bushy yet but she's still pretty young so it may still come in. Um, but the American uh, tail, the American Maine Coon tails are not as bushy as usually the um, European ones. Some of the other things that, you know, the, as far as like coloring or anything like that, they come in the same colors. They can be white, they can be black, they can be tortoise shell like her or calico. They can even be orange and white and they can even be the um, regular like tabby type colors that we have um, in regular domesticated cats. So... Um, the main point of the European cat is like they like to make them look a little bit more like their wild ancestors. So since the um, story of the Maine Coons is a little bit shady of where they came from, um, especially from the United States, there are a lot of theories. Now, of course, we know that they were originally came from Maine from the U.S., but they were brought over here from Europe. Um, there's stories about them being from a sailor with the last name of Coon. Um, and he brought his two European cats over, and that's why we have, they're called Maine Coons, because they're from Maine, and the guy's last name was Coon. Um, there's also a, a few other theories about them. There's also no really known fact of where they actually are bred from. We know that they are actually somewhere apart from some kind of a wild cat, but we don't know what that actual cat is. So most likely it's a cat from the past that is no longer here and is extinct. So Saber here now is, let's see, um, almost four months old, I think, maybe even a little bit older. Um, and she is doing really well. And she really is what they call a Maine Coon, which is a gentle giant, except for when she gets into her play mode, then she can kind of turn into a little bit of a terror. So Maine Coons are known to be energetic as well as being loving. Now, no matter what you do, she always starts to purr most of the time. Even if you touch her, you pick her up. Even if that's not what she wants, a lot of times she will purr. Um, and so she's just a really good cat, but she will climb your legs if she wants to play and not realizing that she's, you know, scratching the heck out of you. So there's not a whole lot of other differences between the European and the American Maine Coon. Um, they're pretty much all the same. Their lifespans are usually about 12 to 15 years. Um, their hair length is still the same. It's, they're all long haired cats. They're both known, the European and the American cat, to be um, really good hunters. Um, and they also are very good in the snow. Um, they have like snowshoe type feet, especially her since she's a polydactyl. I'm sorry, I interrupted you again. I know. And um, so pretty much everything else on them is the same. They don't um, breed anything else differently. It's just that in Europe, they like them to look a little bit more wild than we do here in the United States, I guess. But 
I kind of like the more wild looking cat, so I'm kind of glad we got a European one. Now, as you can tell, um, she has gotten a lot bigger since some of our earlier videos. She is growing fast. There has been a couple times where we have um, woken up the next morning and she seems to have doubled in size. And so, you know, it's a fantastic time with her being around. Um, her and the puppy are basically torturing each other. Um, she likes to get up high and pounce the puppy from above. And the puppy likes to try to chase her around and get her to play. Um, so the other cat, Tack, is still, um, plays with her perfectly fine. Actually likes her. He does get a little aggravated with her from time to time. But with, um, the dog, Tack still has nothing to do with her. She's still, he's still growling and hissing at her. So, you know. And so as right now, she is looking probably to go pounce on the dog who is in my daughter's lap right now. Oh, is she going to do it or is she? Oh, hi, Mercedes. Hi, Hope. All right, where'd she go? What are you doing under there? Oh, nope, she's going to go hide in the couch, I guess. Okay, so that's it for today, you guys. Just thought I'd give you a little bit of a comparison between a European and an American Maine Coon. Um, so she's just a sweet little ball of joy. And as you can see, big old Tack is coming to torture poor Mercedes here. Not nice, Tack. Not nice. Not nice. So this is actually, if you look at Tack, Tack is a little bit more like what the American Maine Coons look like. Now we don't know if Tack is part Maine Coon. We haven't had him DNA tested or anything, but he sometimes does really kind of look like a Maine Coon and he's big like a Maine Coon. And I don't just mean fat because he is that too. Um, but he is a little bit more like what they look like with the shorter ears and the more rounded chin instead of the more prominent like lion-like chin. And she's just hiding out under here now. You silly girl. Saber, come here. Saber, come on. Saber, come here. Nope, she's not going to come out. She's hiding. All right, everybody. So that's it for today. Hope you all have a good day. And we will update you on Saber probably again next week. And see you all later. Like and subscribe if you want to see more about Saber the Maine Coon. Bye.